and they are already feeling those impacts this morning. You can see right now the center of circulation just offshore, but the outer bands already moving across most of the peninsula. There's actually a tornado watch too out for the southern tip of Florida as well. So Ian has maximum sustained winds near 120 miles per hour. Unfortunately, it's going to tap into warm ocean temperatures and it could intensify to a category four hurricane right before it makes landfall, mainly in between Sarasota towards Naples. But there's a hurricane warning that stretches from Tampa all the way down towards Naples as well. So it's going to move onshore as a category three hurricane. It will gradually weaken, but it still could stay tropical storm strength as it moves over Orlando. It could move back over the Atlantic Ocean briefly and then make a second landfall near South Carolina, eventually weakening to a tropical depression over eastern Tennessee. Here's a current look at gusts across portions of Florida, Naples, 43 miles per hour, 54 in Key West, and they could have catastrophic flash flooding. You can see rainfall totals can range up to 12 to 14 inches in some spots. But for us, things are fairly quiet right now, 56 degrees. We also have calm winds, sunrise at 649. Currently 43 degrees in Franklin, Bridgewater 42, Milford 45, taking a wider view. Poughkeepsie 51, down to 59 in Montauk. So we do have a light breeze, mainly out of the west, up to around 5 to 6 miles per hour. A bit breezier, though, at LaGuardia. And we will have that breeze picking up this afternoon. That is all thanks to a cold front. So currently, skies are mainly clear. But I am watching an area cloud cover, even some rain across upstate New York. That is near that front that I just mentioned that will try to push in this afternoon. So from now until lunch, time mostly clear skies the second half of the day we could see an isolated shower north and west of the city but the rest of us should stay dry this evening just a few clouds here and there so tomorrow morning we'll get off to a quiet start and Thursday afternoon just a few additional clouds but we'll have slightly cooler temperatures down into the mid to upper 70s so today a high of 70 degrees we'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds it is going to be a bit breezy and we could see a brief shower mainly across the Hudson Valley in northwest New Jersey so tonight, partly cloudy and cool, 54 degrees, a bit cooler thanks to this front ushering in some of that cooler air. And look at tomorrow, 67, and we'll have a few clouds across the area. So we'll continue to see highs in the mid to upper 60s heading into Friday. Notice still cool, a lot of sunshine. Now Saturday... As Ann starts to get a little bit closer, we'll see more clouds spilling in and a chance for a shower or two mainly south of the city, a high of 70 degrees. Our best chance for some moisture from Ann is going to be on Sunday. We'll see a few scattered showers, but most of that rainfall that will stay south of us thanks to high pressure that will settle in. Monday and Tuesday highs in the mid to upper 60s with a chance for a few showers Tuesday afternoon. Heather? And Brittany, we're still looking at the New York State Thruway going south, getting just before the Mario Cuomo Tappan Zee Bridge. That's where a tractor trailer hit an overpass. So we do have two lanes closed down, but once you get onto the span and you're heading over into Rockland County, you are doing okay. But we do have a problem or heading over to Westchester County. <clears throat> then we do have a problem in Westchester. Cross County Parkway, westbound ramp to the Sawmill River Parkway. That ramp is closed. They're having some drainage issues, so they're doing repairs to that. And alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. Shirley and Ken, over to you. All right, Heather and Brittany, it's 440.